Hi, my name is Travis Campbell, and today in this video, I'm going to review with you Act Duplicate Checking Software by eGrabber. What we're going to cover in this video is the problem with duplicate contacts in Act. What eGrabber has as a solution. Three things I like about this add-on, and the one thing you must know about this product. Now, it is a problem with duplicates in Act. In fact, many databases have up to 30% duplicate records in the system. Now that's a problem because if you send an, uh, a marketing message to Robert Hicks as well as Bob Hicks with the same piece of marketing material, he's not going to feel like you like him too much. He's going to be actually turned off. They didn't take the time to identify him as the same contact. So what ACT offers is the ability to do exact matching criteria based on things such as company and then contact and then it will actually match on a third criteria as well. However, if you do a match on company and the company fields are both blank, they're going to be perceived as a duplicate. A lot of company fields are empty in many databases. Now you can change that, but there's other issues like JON Woods and JOHN Wood. Those would not be identified as duplicates or Cheryl Ryder and then Ryle Ryder Cheryl. Last name first. Those wouldn't be duplicates. So eGrabber has this fuzz, fuzzy logic for deduping, which would identify Bob and Robert Hicks as identical contacts and offer to merge them into one contact record. It also offers this merge preview to show you what it's identified as duplicates and what it's going to look like when it merges that data into the database. The other thing that's really powerful is it allows to identify multiple uh, duplicate contacts, so not just two as it is an act, but three or four or five duplicates and then merge them. Another thing is that it records a history of changes from your source contact record to your destination. It will record what the values were and what it merged it to. So three things that I like about the dupe checker. First of all, it saves a lot of time. If you've got a large database and you try and do this manually, it can be very arduous. It captures history of changed data, which I just talked to you about, and it's a flexible pricing model. So there is one thing, however, you should know, and that is it has limited match criteria. Only name and company, or just name, or just company. So if that is a criteria that works for you, this tool will work in your environment, and it is the best option for most people. Now, is this right for you? If you're frustrated with the scan for duplicates function in ACT, if you knew that you've always, you've always known you needed to scan for duplicates and clean up the database, but you haven't done it, uh, or you just need a one-time dupli uh, duplicate cleanup, or if you do regular imports of data such as lists, you're going to need something like this. Also, if you're okay with that duplicate check criteria limitation. Now, if you want more information, just go to the link that you see on the page there uh, in the video that's on this slide, or perhaps it's below uh, the video that's playing right now. You'll get more information, and you'll be able to download a fully functional, although limited, trial version of the software. My name is Travis Campbell. Hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time on the web.